it's my uh, my name is Gan. I'm a member of uh, development team for this uh, particular e-supervision system so this is my second video tutorial today I'm gonna demonstrate how a uh, supervisor uh, login works uh, in parallel I'm uh, planning to demonstrate a student login as well because a uh, student and supervisor they got uh, more connection so it, I, I think it's better to have clear idea on what's happening on student side as a supervisor so let's do this in previous video tutorial as administrator administrator uh, create a new uh, student called Sanjay Surya and also administrator uh, create new supervisor called Sumit Senanayaka so today I'm gonna logged in as now I'm gonna log in as this supervisor and previously uh, the supervisor ID it gen which, which generated was two triple zero two five and one two three yes so again when administ uh, when administrator log into his login it's redirect to admin uh, control panel so similar to that when supervisor log into uh, the system automatically system redirect that supervisor to his own dashboard so within supervisor dashboard basically there are four main things i can say one is um, it's it, where it's it's display the student details who, uh, whom been allocated for this particular supervisor so as you can see it's mentioned here my students because only one student been allocated so far it shows only one student with these details and also in uh, dashboard itself uh, supervisor can identify what are the uh, I mean uh, what are the blog posts from this particular students have been posted new post I mean which which need to pay attention also uh, supervisor will come to know if there's any inbound meeting uh, schedule requests and supervisor can approve or uh, reject those requests so basically first what I'm going to do within the e-supervision system we have developed a core function called self project progress monitoring system so it's supervisor's responsibility to allocate uh, his or her own students to this particular system so basically what i'm trying to say is i'll, I'll just log out and i log in as a student student uh, student Sanajai is where is one double zero twenty seven okay one double zero twenty seven one two three yes so this this is uh, Sanajai Surya's uh, students dashboard basically as you can see uh, supervisor name uh, Sumit Senanayaka as we created before it's display in here this what i want to discuss right now assignment uh, status basically here it's nothing shows nothing appears because supervisor still not allocate this particular student to for this core function so first what supervisor have to do is as soon as he log into the system okay we'll go back and we'll log into the system as a supervisor now again. Zero two five and uh, one two three. Yes. So as soon as supervisor log into the system, he will come to know if there's any new student being allocated for him. Uh, how he come to know is if student uh, if any student ID displaying here, and if if that particular student ID not displaying here, I mean in this section, 
it mean this particular student being allocated new I mean from new by the administrator so first what supervisor have to do is he have to select uh, this particular uh, student ID and he have to select what project uh, I for what project he is gonna uh, allow this student to use self project progress monitoring system so what we do is we can do is we can select the CNET and we say include when we say include automatically as you can see now it's displaying uh, this this student's uh, details under self project progress monitoring system basically by default all details all tasks uh, are pending now because just now student being uh, given access to this particular uh, co function so if we go back if we go back to student login and if we check let's see zero two seven as far as I remember I hope it's correct yes yes now you can see it's display details so this this what I wanted to show uh, from the uh, student head okay now again I'm gonna log out uh, before before um, logging out uh, I can describe this as well let's say now okay student being given access to a uh, self project monitoring system and now student dashboard it's fully functional so what student can do is basically he can uh, let's say now student being done his task one and uh, task two as well so always student can come to this uh, dashboard he can log into the system and uh, visit dashboard and he can click update status and from here he can make any comments let's say uh, done uh, or not let's say uh, complete uh, let's say here let's say sample any anything comment yeah okay and a student what he can do student from student side student what he have to do is if he if he done he can change status to done and he can say update status when he say update status it's appearing here task one been done and task two also done still task three task four and task five is pending and also student can send a uh, meeting uh, request uh, schedule meeting request to his uh, supervisor basically supervisor only one supervisor can have one uh, one student can have only one supervisor so this supervisor name it's Sumitsenanayaka so now uh, student this student can send uh, meeting request schedule request uh, let's assume let's say let's take it as um, 16th of this month uh, of April and uh, time will say oh, uh, okay, time will say 12:30, and it's p.m. of course <laughs> and reason will say to a project task 3 because he have to do task 3 let's say okay and he can send request okay once he send request automatically from uh, student end and uh, student dashboard it shows the request which just now he have sent to his supervisor and this request R it shows R it's it's R it's always stand for request within the system so now this request being sent to the supervisor and assignment status also student being updated so this both 
this assignment status and this meeting schedule uh, status both should reflect on supervisor's dashboard let's let's see it later whether it's does or not and when from student side student always can uh, uh, he can uh, post blog uh, he can post any uh, message to his own blog basically this blog it's uh, it it can maintain as a student's personal diary so basically this is how uh, the empty block how it looks like uh, yeah it's it's a bit intelligent it not allow the student to post uh, uh, empty po empty messages so what we'll say we'll say this is sample sample blog post please help me to come uh, please help me to help me with uh, let's say uh, responsive design okay now student can post it okay as soon as he post it appears within student block and it says no comments to display basically this comment section this yellow color area this comment section it's for the supervisor so whenever supervisor log into supervisor dashboard always supervisor can see if there's any new blog post which he have to pay attention and he always he can go for it and he can make any comments on it so when supervisor make comments automatically it appears on that particular student's block okay uh, so we post uh, this this student now post uh, one message to his own blog then after that let's say uh, upload project once student finish upload um, sorry my mistake once student done his or her own project uh, done in the sense once it complete finalized complete then uh, student must update upload it to the system so let's say I choose file and uh, let's say uh, okay okay and if you see here the name it appears just like this but but it do the magic in the back end because student can update any um, 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 student can upload any uh, PDF file with any name there's no uh, particular name format but still whenever students say upload it upload but still it convert this file name to a students ID so that's how system from the back end it captures so okay now student being upload uh, student have upload his finalized uh, project now from student end that's all a student have to do a uh, group chat it's there but it's there's nothing to worry uh, as a supervisor uh, because this is for students only and okay now we we'll log out we'll again log back into uh, supervisor dashboard as I think is this 20 27 okay it is 27 right uh, password so one two three no is it okay. basically you don't uh, as a supervisor uh, no need to worry about this screen this I'm just using because I have to get uh, the uh, login details that's that's the only reason okay, uh, 20025 yeah okay okay here we go now student log into the system 
and uh, super uh, sorry not student <laughs> supervisor log into the system and supervisor dashboard appeared as you can see before it was nothing was displayed here but now as you can see it's displaying one inbound uh, meeting schedule request and there's one new uh, post which supervisor have to pay attention and also as you can see this uh, Sanat Jayasu yeah, he said he done task 1 and he done task 2 as well so straight away supervisor can see at, at one shot he can see that okay this student having some progress okay and also whenever uh, a supervisor log into the system and whenever he sees uh, this new with uh, uh, green uh, background he can he can it mean this he have to pay attention to this and he have to make some comments it says please click on decide post id to comment on because there's only one post okay we'll click on this and we'll say my comments okay uh, let's say I'm uh, happy to help you please send me a meeting request okay so student says sample blog post please help me with responsive design now uh, as a supervisor I'm gonna say I'm happy to help you please send me a meeting request yes this post been posted on um, this date on this time and this is the ID and uh, okay we'll say comment okay as soon as we comment it disappear from this uh, new blog post uh, section because there's nothing to do with it again now once we finish uh, as a supervisor once he finish pay attention to a new blog post he can all he always he have to uh, pay attention to inbound meeting request so um, schedule status as you can see it's still in RR in the sense it's just a request so to change schedule status whether let's say okay I'm I'm happy with this time with with this particular date and with this particular time I'm happy and I'm available I'm, I'm not busy so I can say student okay let's let's meet up on this date and this time to do that what supervisor have to do is have to select schedule ID and it says it, it give a, a few details it says to discuss project task 3 is the reason why this student asked for this particular meeting schedule and ask for this date uh, this this date and this time and if, if I am available as a supervisor if I am available then I can say approved when I say approved and update status straight away it says a so it mean I'm I'm not gonna be able to approve any other uh, meeting request on this particular date on this particular time yeah so it's simple anyway because yeah and uh, yes so now uh, we've seen blog post uh, meeting schedule requests now what we can do is okay now my student he's been uh, uploaded his um, finalized project to the system now it's my my turn to correct it so what I have to do is I'm going to check project when I click check project always it it's appears here uh, whoever student uh, uploaded their project it gonna appears in here but somehow it's not appearing okay let's let's go back and see yeah and also always supervisor can change uh, his own password let's let's say now uh, if someone uh, got this password then if someone try to play funny then supervisor if supervisor come to know this then always he can come come and change his own password okay let's 
first let's see what happened with the uh, student one double zero one double zero two seven okay one double zero two seven and one two three yes upload project capacity okay anyway it's not a big deal so upload okay ah yes now only it give this message successfully uploaded okay before maybe uh, yeah it's 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 not been uploaded that's why it's it's it, it wasn't displaying any message okay now we'll go back to supervisor login and we'll check now what's the status yes as you can see here now project being uploaded on zonzo date by zonzo student and now it's my turn to download it and correct it yes now basically these are the functions which uh, available under uh, supervisor dashboard and uh, i hope this video tutorial been um, helpful to you um, i'm hoping to do another video tutorial uh, for uh, other i mean uh, for background processes until then have a good day Thank you for watching.